Hello, Chib. This is Alexander again. Uh, today, as I uh, told it in my last video, I I want to talk to you about this module I made, and uh, I need to rebuild this for to uh, to have it more secure, uh, more uh, re reliable, and for this I need to put to add more batteries behind because this these two batteries are not enough for this little device if you walking uh, if you are walking uh, more uh, than uh, you was expected it can have uh, some battery issue because uh, the, the the device is inside can use a lot of current for for making the power supply this is a 48 power supply so for this I had to dismount some uh, crop batteries like this and uh, of course you can see it's missing some battery because I have I, I had to dismount one of them two of them uh, or three maybe or four of them for to make a new battery maybe to uh, use again those one or to replace it by another one if they are more uh, better simply better so you have in front here uh, some electronic load I pushes it uh, since uh, two weeks now I think and uh, those electronic load are a real disaster uh, so I'm going to explain to you why you don't uh, you have not to buy this uh, electronic load uh, for example, for instance, on the last video you can you, you can see this electronic load uh, on my desk and uh, it's work nice. Uh, of course, it, this is not perfect. Uh, 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 essentially, on the very low current testing. This is not a perfect, but it uh, do the job for mainly your ears and for testing battery and uh, power supply. So this one is okay for the price, but those one I purchased it both of them, and I sincerely thought it was a nice thing to have it for to test some battery uh, in the same time, like I'm usually I'm doing here. And uh, the problem with that is uh, they have a very uh, big gap between the display and the real current uh, through those uh, electronic load. So I make some tests with a shop multimeter and a shop power supply and uh, I have make a diagram, diagram like this as you can see for to try to understand what's going wrong. Uh, with this uh, electronic load so I don't give you the advice to purchase this one try to purchase another electronic load this one is a perfect I think it's a very bad electronic load very bad engineering because if you look at the display you uh, of, of course you think then you can chose a very low value about the current the you can choose the 10 milliamp for example on this one this is exactly the same electronic load so you have the the same display here and so uh, for those one who needs uh, to test very low um, batteries you can you can thought then it, this is a very nice um, idea to choose those one because they seems to have here the 10 milliamps of course this is a, a good idea for to test very little battery but in fact this is a pure scam as as you can see on uh, this paper when you choose the set point of 10 milliamp the display shows 5 milliamps and you have the 60 and 2 milliamp uh, reading on the multimeter and uh, from 10 milliamp to 90 milliamp you have this display 
show, show it on the display this value show it on display say uh, 5 milliamp and 5 milliamp from 10 from say set point to 10 to 90 uh, milliamp and the value uh, displayed on the multimeter which is the real value is 62 uh, milliamp and 62 milliamp so you can absolutely not make made calculating uh, with this range of uh, of current draw for to begin to see something good you need to begin from 0 0.1 amp which means 100 milliamp for to see something corresponding to the reading and uh, of course despite this fact you can see here this is not so far from the set point you have here the display on the electronic load and the real current reading on the multimeter is this one it's 152 milliamps so you can see here for uh, 0 0.2 it's uh, 0 0.2 on the display and 0 0.2 43 and you can see this is the same the same non uh, non-linear uh, offset until you rise one amp as you can see if you go to one amp you will have on the display of this electronic load something very near to one amp and you will find on the multimeter something very near to one amp too so if you want to use this uh, this electronic load with uh, uh, the maximum accurate you uh, you need to use mainly one amp but one amp if you use if you want to uh, just a very very little battery one amp is too much for doing that so on the other uh, module because i have here the module one and here the module two you can have you have like this, the same Problem, but uh, it's a little bit different here for this module you can see from 10 milliamp to 90 milliamp you will have absolutely zero on the display as you can see here and you will have 23 milliamp and 22 milliamp uh, when you choose 90 uh, milliamp on the set point and the display shows nothing and of course, if you want to 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 see something displayed on the display, you can, you you need to uh, to ask for the set point, zero point uh, one amp, and the display show you shows you uh, fifty eight, and the real reading on the multimeter is one hundred eleven amp, which is absolutely incredible i don't understand what is this engineering uh, engineering on this uh, electronic load and as uh, you can uh, understand there is value you need to choose for to make your calculation which are uh, nearly the same than this one for example you can have the the maximum accurate uh, if you choose the set point of one amp which uh, gives you on the display 942 and on the multimeter readings you will have 0 0.935 amp so if you want to test some battery you you have your interest to use the one amp section so if you if you choose another value you will have completely an exotic an exotic result and it sh shows you that this electronic cloud are absolutely not reliable and uh, it's um, I think for to be honest I will uh, I, I will use it for to um, to test my battery here because I'm going to uh, to to choose the one amp uh, uh, set point because this is the most accurate and uh, I hope the most linear but in this case you need to know that i'm going to test uh, those battery in the same time with the main the main the same purpose for to just to know if i can add this pack with this pack because the hold and the the um, the use of the, the this battery are not the same with the time so this is uh, why you need to make this uh, kind of test for to 
uh, to see the balance of uh, the batteries and uh, uh, it gives you it gives you um, the fact then you you know if you can add this pack with this one and uh, if they will charge first or, or the last etc etc this is for a reliability of your battery pack so what i'm going to do now is uh, to switch on this uh, fake cloud which I'm using on the 1 amp section because I have no choice I cannot use the the 200 or here or 200 here you can see I have put a green line on the value you can maybe you can choose but I'm not very sure for this experiment I'm just going to test the 1 amp because really if you want to choose uh, an electronic cloud this is a don't buy this shit I and this uh, electronic load cost 22 euro I have for both of them 44 euro wasted uh, it's a uh, it's a perfect disaster I think so um, I hope I didn't uh, I didn't uh, make um, some uh, pre preview on the AliExpress uh, uh, question and uh, response, you know, about uh, the quality of uh, the scent, etc. For testing to recover something about this stuff, because for me, they they uh, they, they cost little money, and uh, I think they are bullshit. And uh, what gives you a bad, uh, a bad um, reflection about that? It's uh, then this electronic cloud have a voltage sense. As if, I don't know if you can see here. If you see here, you can see the amp entry and you can see the voltage sense. The voltage sense is uh, present on uh, height brand electronic load or height brand power supply and uh, it gives you a more reliability about the result or current because uh, uh, it's help you to to give the the the, the most perfect uh, working with a volt voltage sense and the those devices have voltage sense so as you see, you can see here the voltage displayed for each pack of battery here and uh, uh, the current uh, set point is 1 amp if uh, we can trust th this device. I'm not sure about that. This is a, a perfect scam, I think. Don't buy this shit. So I'm going now to, um, to switch on and see in a few minutes if uh, I, I think I, I need to, to make some results here okay the result is okay for this one let's switch on okay the process is beginning now you can see the, the voltage is dropping very quickly Okay, so uh, let's uh, rock this stuff and uh, we see further what uh, it gives. One of this cell is, is uh, more empty than the other. It's, uh, it, it, they absolutely are. They are not balanced correctly so be careful when you're trying both battery like this it can generate some error for you and uh, this is not the pack but only one cell which is defective in this case one cell is always effective as you can see drop 3.3 volts and the other is uh, 2.8 uh, maybe if you will refresh this battery, maybe it's uh, came to life, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's uh, just a, a dead battery. In this pack you can see a nice voltage on one cell and 
a nice voltage on the other cell they are perfectly balanced and uh, despite this is just one amp they are hot when uh, working on load so okay this one uh, is uh, finished and uh, you can see it's running uh, uh, during uh, 40, 40 minutes and uh, it's automatically automatically stopped because you can adjust the minimal voltage you will uh, you will stop on this uh, device and the other device is always running and uh, it's uh, it's a reach uh, for something like uh, 7 volts and uh, always running and uh, so uh, just uh, wait a little bit and see how far it can go oh. Sony Fukushima this is a radioactive batteries I just uh, reconnected the other battery which have a better better voltage and uh, it's still working uh, it's working alone now but uh, I eliminate this one which the voltage drop uh, very quickly and so the other cell is always running which mean uh, maybe this cell is uh, already better than uh, the other and uh, however those both battery was uh, soldering was soldered together and was working together and despite this fact they are not balanced uh, correctly between them those uh, old battery uh, becomes so much hot then I need to uh, cool them with a fan connected on this uh, power supply quite hot and uh, this not for not a very high current of charge and uh, because if the battery becomes so hot it's because the internal resistance is so high because the battery are so old and um, so th th this is the reason why they become hot so easily I had to remove this uh, part uh, because uh, I don't need it for my uh, project and uh, so with the cutter plier, cutter plier I think I need to remove this stuff for to have uh, more place for to hide the batteries inside. So, so on the display there is a temperature uh, changing when the power the power is very exotic and you have the the power of uh, the the average of the the battery showing time to time 0 0.689 and uh, when you're working on the with the electronic load on the on, with the battery it it shows the, this display few minutes and uh, there is a, like a bug and uh, the, the the amp display will disappear and uh, if you see this one it's on what's happened on this uh, this one um, it's always running and uh, you cannot see the amp hour of uh, the battery you can you can uh, you can do what you want. The, uh, you it only shows the the current time working. So this is a very disappointing.
qui sont depuis 1140 à 1585 datent de la connaissance pour un certain nombre des textes inventés. Que peut-on penser de celles qui reprennent Alors, le texte est déjà publié. Curieusement, on constate que certains, certaines devises collent très bien avec les dates qui ont suivi au XVIe siècle, XVIIe siècle et XVIIIe siècle. Ils sont nés tous les deux en France, dans le sud. Arnold de Vion aurait donc pu retrouver les écrits de Nostradamus. Sans oublier qu'il est un prophète. Nostradamus évoque un homme venu à Varennes de nuit, en passant par Voldort, elle. J'ai l'impression. Comparaison. Cornwall doit rechercher aussi l'ADN de Walter Sickert. Elle prétend le trouver sur les toiles du peintre et sur ses lettres. Pour Patricia Cornwell, les résultats sont déterminants. Son livre devient un best-seller. L'énigme serait-elle enfin résolue Patricia Cornwell raconte une belle histoire sur l'ADN. C'est son grand truc. Lorsqu'elle a commencé à se pencher sur le dossier Jacques Léventreur, elle voulait utiliser... This is a boost converter and I'm going to, uh, to insert this boost converter inside for to to have the abilities to charge those battery with any power supply you will found and uh, because the those four battery gives some uh, 60 volts and uh, it's uh, not so easy to find uh, some transformer on a bench which give exactly the voltage uh, it needs Uh, for to recharge those battery so I'm going to put this boost converter which is able to work with um, any voltage between uh, 5 volt to uh, 20 volt for to charge uh, the battery so I just have to to put this uh, plug and uh, of course in this case The surrounding is the minus and uh, the center is the positive and uh, connect it on this. I need to uh, to uh, to connect some LED to uh, to confirm the charge of the voltage entry and the voltage output and uh, and so I'm reflecting about that and uh, see uh, further it uh, will be okay. the project is uh, finished you can see it's uh, more clean than the old model but uh, the old model was very useful so uh, there is a solar jet pot uh, I uh, recovered this uh, push button and this, this switch and uh, the, the booster inside and the So now they are here now. So the reason why it's a little bit sophisticated now it's because I put a little uh, boost converter for to help the battery to charge with uh, any power supply you found. You don't need a specific power supply for to charge this unit. Every uh, voltage between 9 and 17 volts Are, uh, are okay for to charge. I have uh, an example here. This LED is uh, to confirm the voltage entry and when you see the cover the display is uh, uh, switched on due to the power entry here And if you if you use this device for to have a 48 volt here, you you have to switch. And the display is uh, used to um, to control the uh, the voltage output here, 
but when you put your device on charging it it helps you to to control the voltage of the battery inside so this led uh, is uh, for to confirm then the booster output is uh, correct and this uh, led is uh, to confirm then the entry is correct and of course this uh, this uh, panel indicate to you the voltage of the battery here you will have quick charge and slow unfortunately I make a mistake I normally I, I must make slow uh, on the on the top and uh, quick on the bottom but no 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 I didn't make a mistake sorry if you switch on uh, what Okay, it was uh, in quick charge, so it was a. Uh, it's okay. So uh, here, normally I need to write quick, and here uh, I need to write uh, slow. This is for to choose if you want a quick charge, if you are very hurry, or if you want, uh, if you have time. So and in fact, this display is a little bit dimmed when you put this uh, power supply if you if you see look this is not the same l light it's a height light and with this it's a little dimmed light because when you use this uh, panel for to charge your battery you can um, put it on uh, charge a very long time and it's not uh, worth to have a full uh, illuminated il illuminated display so I make uh, a little device for to decrease the light of uh, the display when it's powered by the cord here so this is uh, this it was the project uh, for today I uh, this uh, project is very useful of course if I had a lot of time to work on it it was possible to use the same booster for the 48 volt output to charge the battery in the same time but it needed a lot of engineering for that because you need to study study a lot for to with a lot of relay for clicking output input and uh, uh, changing the the voltage value for to charge the battery from uh, 6 to um, to uh, 17 volt here it can it will be very sophisticated so i just prefer to put another booster here for to uh, to permit to this unit to charge with a, a large panel from voltage entry so it's uh, okay for today uh, i hope you like the video and uh, see you soon